No, no, that score is correct. Cowboys beat the Saints, getting revenge. 38 to 17, Des Bryant cut a late touchdown pass to ice it. Cowboys will be taking on the Texans next week. All right, as we always do when the Cowboys play on KTK, I bring in yeah. reinforcements for the good, good the day. bad. Garrett Sanders. It's a good day. Thank you for coming in, man. Hey, no Turn problem. Off. Man. You come in, you hey. watch the game with us. <laughs> a lot <laughs> no of good things going on in this game. What stands out to you in this win? A lot of good things, like you said. But the one thing that really stood out to me, Phil, it had to be Terrence Williams yeah. and how he made the most of his opportunities tonight. Now, the one thing the Saints defense tried to do right was cover Des Bryant, who still made his catches. But when you double Des, you leave Williams open. Terrence stepped up in a big way and proved he can be that legit second threat through the air. We've always known he's been capable of making big plays, but tonight he made his most dependable game. Catches balls in traffic and on the sidelines. We know what he can do, do out of Bryant, but if Williams keeps this up, look out NFC East. Now time now for the bad and the pessimist that you are. I am. Anything bad about this game? Would you like to bring us down a little bit? Well, let's, let's just come back to reality. Okay. There's not too much to hate on in this game. No. But being honest, despite the 3-1 record, the bad, well, that's who the Cowboys have been right. beating. They've been beating the bad teams. They haven't played anybody. This is the teams that the Cowboys have topped. Marcus Bagwell's terrible Titans, the Rams, and now the Saints. Those teams have a combined record of three and eight. Now, the Cowboys are doing what they're supposed to do. That's beat bad teams, but they got big tests coming ahead. Hosting the Texans at Seattle. Take on your boy Andrew Luck and the Colts later in the season. Get the wins while you can, Dallas, because it's going to get tougher. Now, still very good to see a win, but... All right, time for the ugly. What, well, what's ugly this week, Garrett? <laughs> well, Phil, I, I saw something pretty ugly tonight. Ooh, what was it? In fact, I saw five of them. And I'm talking about the big five uglies up from the <laughs> offensive line. That's what I'm talking about. They deserve to be named Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, Ron Leary, and Doug Free. These boys have been the highlight of this team all year, and tonight they put on a clinic. Besides opening holes for Murray all game, Tony Romo never got touched. He constantly had a clear pocket to work from, which opened up all those beautiful plays downfield. And I'll throw in Jason Witten as well, who was integral to sealing off blocks and opening running lanes. You put your money where your priorities are, and right now in Dallas, it's on the offensive line and so far, it's been a great return on investment. Yeah, and that offensive line, especially with Romo's back, so yeah. to, to keep his jersey clean, keep him healthy. Uh, some kind of interesting coming up tonight. Yeah. ESPN's reporting that when the Cowboys get back to work this week, they could have the services of suspended defensive tackle Josh Brown. We yeah. all know what happened with him a year or so ago. Uh, he could be eligible to return. That's according to their sources. It was initially going to be 10 games. I mean, what do you think about this? This is, it's really tough, and, and, and we all know the climate, the climate that's going on right in the NFL. Uh, it, it's tough. From a football perspective, of course, you want a guy, a big body like that on a, it's still a depleted defense on Dex, uh, for the Dallas Cowboys. It, it's tough because the fact that the mother uh, of the one who she got really killed, support she Brown's supported him, really support and I think him. that she supported him getting back on the team. I think it would be a great story to get him back on the Dallas Cowboys, but I can't fault anyone else who would say they need to stay away from this. I think right now they probably should stay away from it just because there's so much pressure on the league to really clean up its image. I think it'd be a great story, but maybe not for this season. Yeah, I'd love to see uh, Josh Brent come back, but I, I'm, I'm with yeah. you. I don't think it's going to be this year. Garrett, thank you so much hey, for coming man. by. How about them Cowboys? How about, well, How about the team they're taking on next week? Uh -oh. Houston Texans, they're back home this they week. They are back. Taking on the Buffalo Bills. Both those teams came into the game 2-1. Both of them coming off their first